Hello and welcome to Colred Plays Raid Shadow Legends. I am Colred. Thank you for joining me today. There's a lot going on in the game of Raid Shadow Legends. A lot of announcements recently. The first one came a couple of days ago when it was announced, sort of leaked, that Sun Wukong would be the next login reward champion. So the replacement for Artak, who exited earlier this month. Um, so we do think that there's a new legendary coming. That's obviously good news. You can find sort of the leak photos out there. I don't really want to lean into it too much because we know very little information. But that was the first announcement. Since then, we've gotten a lot of announcements fast and furiously. So we're going to talk about some of the recent announcements that happened today and yesterday and sort of what that could mean for us over the next couple of weeks in Raid Shadow Legends. Let's start by jumping over here into the news tab, get into the news feed. And you'll notice that uh, just yesterday there was an announcement that there would be a champion training tournament that would develop your champion and get Emic's perfect souls. So if you got the Emic trunk heart fusion, it looks like we now have an opportunity to get as many as uh, four stars of a perfect soul for Emic trunk heart. This is going to come by way of a champion training tournament, and the tournament is actually live in game. So you can click on the tournament right now, and you'll see that there is a champion training tournament. There are a lot of rewards here, but you can get souls, two star, three star, four star souls, but you have to finish in the top three. This is going to be very difficult, especially if you've been playing a while because these tournament groups are highly competitive. I'm just going to check how many players there are. I'm guessing it's 100. Hopefully it's not more than 100. So three out of every 100 players will get some level of soul. However, there are some nice juicy rewards on the right hand side here in the column. And up here are some points for the Ultimate Death Knight birthday event, I guess, which is also going on. So if you're going to be pursuing that, you need to get these points. If you get 8,100 points, you're pretty close to this legendary tome. So if you're a free-to-play player, definitely consider that. Now, 10,000 points in a champion training tournament is quite a lot, but you do have an opportunity to get some decent rewards. Okay, back in the news feed again yesterday on the 16th, we saw the announcement UDK's birthday Titan event. And if we read this, this is actually, there's some detail here. You might want to read into it, but there's going to be a birthday event and you're going to be able to gain points by doing tournaments and events during the two weeks of this Titan event. And you collect points and those points will give you uh, milestone rewards and you can even get souls for UDK. So we can go look at this. Over here, you can see it's a pretty cool icon. I actually really like that for events now. I wish that was our normal events icon. Uh, he's got a little crown on there. So yeah, here we have Ultimate Death Knight's birthday Titan event. You see, this has also started today. And as you can see, there are five milestones. For 100 points, you're going to get that first soul. And then you can get a second soul at 300, a third soul at 600, a fourth soul at 1,000 points. And then for the milestone five, you get an eternal soul stone. So if you can at least pick up 1,000 points for this Titan event, you're going to be able to get a pretty good soul. Four star soul is decent. I'm actually kind of glad. I've heard some people complain that maybe, you know, they should have given a five star soul as the ultimate reward here, but I'm kind of glad they didn't um, for a couple of reasons. One is Ultimate Death Knight is already a pain to run across in Arena. Um, so it's just going to make him even tougher. Even a four star soul is going to make him a lot tougher. And I think the other thing is five star souls are very, you know, high level souls. So if we were seeing five star souls everywhere, like think about how often you see ultimate death knight in like silver arena. Do you really want to see a five star soul death knight in silver arena? I don't like, I definitely don't. So I think generally, you know, if they're going to be giving away these souls, I think like a three star soul or a four star soul is a good cap level there. So we don't kind of like create our own power creep by just flooding the community with five and six star, you know, souls. So yeah, if you already have a four star soul or a five star soul on UDK, it might feel a little bit like this event is not for you, but look at all the other great rewards here, right? There's a legendary tome, an XP barrel, an immortal soul stone. Obviously, um, you've got the eternal soul stone, there are gems there, more immortal soul coins, a void shard, a lot of energy, some more gems, chickens, epic skill tomes, more energy, XP boosts, you know, another ancient shard. So all along the way here, you're going to be getting some pretty reasonable rewards for free, right? This is just an extra event. They didn't have to give us this event. This is just an extra event. All right. So now for today's announcement, we got an announcement of a Hero's Path event. It's supposed to launch, I believe, later today. 
Um, so in about 12 hours, we're going to get that. This is another path event, just like every other path event that we've done. And you're going to have an opportunity to earn Roxum, who is a legendary in the Lizardman faction. Interesting champion. I've never owned a Roxum, but I have seen him uh, from time to time. And I know some people really like Roxum. So uh, has a veil on the A1 with some turn meter uh, fill. Looks like more turn meter fill. Uh, has a chance of placing a stun or a sleep. Attacks all enemies has a 100% chance when booked of placing decreased defense and a weakened debuff on the same skill. So that's really nice. Uh, there aren't a ton of champions who have that. It looks like it's on a four turn cooldown. So that that's still good. It's on a three turn cooldown, which is what we normally see with like a 100% decreased defense or a 100% weakened, but not both. And then a block debuffs and a strength debuff on this champion for one turn continuous healed. So with the veils and the block debuffs and the strength that all go on him, it seems like he's a very survivable uh, attack based nuker. Obviously, decent attack um, stats, kind of squishy, not super fast for a legendary. 98 is maybe just below average for a legendary, um, but gets that extra, you know, percentage crit damage to start with, which is nice. So, yeah, a decent legendary to go for, especially if you need help in the, the Lizardman faction crypts. Um, but so he's going to be available through this path event. So, yeah, here's the hero's path. You can see it starts in 12 hours and you can also earn birthday points there. So every event or tournament that has this UDK's birthday banner on it, um, that's going to obviously contribute toward the Titan event. Um, so we won't know where those point totals uh, lie until we actually have this event live and we can see the actual point totals for the rewards. But we know we're going to have, you know, this path is also going to be rewarding UDK's birthday points. Here on the tournaments page, I just decided to pull this back up so you could see in addition to the champion training tournament, we will have a classic arena takedown and a dragon tournament, both of which will be contributing to the UDK's birthday points as well. So again, it feels very much like a fusion. We have a classic arena takedown. We have a champion training tournament. We have a dragon tournament. We have you know all these different events and tournaments that are going on simultaneously that are going to award points. So you may have to you know dip a little bit into all of them or at least see where you can get the most points uh, and the most value for your resources. Uh, you may not want to go too crazy if you just burned all of your resources for the Emic Trunk Heart Fusion. Um, I would probably, you know, start saving for next month's fusion, which is likely to start as soon as this birthday event ends. So as, you, as soon as UDK's birthday ends, we're probably going to have a, like a three or four, maybe five day gap. And then we're going to have the new fusion uh, champion for September. So, you know, if you burn all of your resources here for this event, you're not going to have it for a fusion. If the fusion's any good, maybe the fusion won't be any good. We've had two really good fusions in a row. So maybe we'll get a break and we'll be a trash fusion we can all skip. Um, but I wouldn't, I wouldn't expect that. I think what Plarium's been doing is they've been hitting us uh, fast and hard with all of the extra rewards. They're trying to get people to buy into shards, buy packs, buy energy. Um, so everything's good right now. They're basically giving us tons of opportunities to spend money. And if you're like me and you're a free to play player, and you're not spending money, you have to pick your spots. So I'm probably going to try to get at least a two or three star soul on UDK. But then after that, I'm not going to worry overly much about pushing all the way to the end, unless it just feels easier than I think it's going to be. Likewise, this champion training tournament, you know, I'm probably not going to be able to get a soul, but I do have some training to do. So I am going to get involved in this. There's still three and a half days left, and hopefully I can get some rewards out of that. I don't expect to get a soul, though even though that would be cool. All right, and now we have the final announcement for today, which is happy birthday, happy first birthday to UDK. Um, and it says here that we are getting a promo code, code which is a piece of birthday cake. Um, and you can just hit the details here. That's going to take you to a website. And it is the Twitter account. So it's uh, OG Death Knight's Twitter account. Let me show you that. As you can see, there is a promo code UDKB Day. Um, so that should be available to everybody. I don't know how long it's going to be up. It might only be 24 hours. This might be UDK's birthday, but my guess is it's going to last through the two weeks of the event, at least the birthday event. But I wouldn't wait around. I would go ahead and pop this code into your game right now, get the rewards, see what they are. In fact, that's what I'm going to do right now. OK, so the code was UDKB day, UDKB day. Let's see what we get. Five star chicken. OK, and some pots. Um, I'm sorry, some brews, some brews. I always mix those up. But OK, so we got a five star chicken. 
Um, so yeah, that's really nice. I got a, another five star chicken. I like I said, I do have some champion training to do. Um, I've got some two stars. I got some four stars. I've got a bunch of five star chickens. I'm going to make another six star hopefully soon. Uh, I just haven't decided on who yet. Um, so we'll have to see how that turns out. But so a five star chicken is really nice, especially if you're early in the game. That's going to advance you closer to that next six star level 60 champion. Um, obviously, with the the champion training tournament going on right now, that's even better because you get that extra, you know, champion training progress. You can get towards that six star champion, get them leveled up during the tournament, and hopefully that'll give you enough points to get some good rewards. All right, that's it for today. I mean, this was a lot of news. Um, again, that Sun Wukong thing, we'll be, keep an eye on that and see when they have an official announcement about that champion. And likewise, you know, watch the events, watch the tournament tabs, make sure you're checking the times, make sure you're checking the reward schedule, how many points do you need in all of these things. And then you can kind of plan out, you know, what UDK soul you might want to go for. Or if you're just going to ignore it and just play casually and pick up whatever rewards you get along the way. Either way, it's free rewards. So thank you, Plarium. Uh, as a free-to-play player, I always appreciate that. All right, that's enough for me. I've been Cole Red. Thanks so much for hanging out. I will see you in another video soon.